That's a brand new radio from Better Safe Radio, the UV9 Papa X ray, manufactured by Oshang in China, designed by Better Safe Radio in the USA, and sold exclusively on their website. We're going to get to take a first look at it today, coming up right now. CQ photo, CQ photo, CQ parts on the air, CQ at Charlie's Five, Hotel with Bravo. Ham Radio 2.0 reviews news and how-tos of things that are new in amateur radio. Thank you for joining the channel today. My name is Jason. I'm KC5HWB. We're going to look at this brand new radio from Better Safe Radio. Please remember, those of you who might be new here, you can save a 7% discount on anything at BetterSafeRadio.com by entering the coupon code of HR2 All7. HR2 All7. HR2 is me. All is everything on the site, and 7 is 7%. So HR2 All7, BetterSafeRadio.com. Be sure to watch to the end of the video today so that you can pick up the secret word to put in the comment below, and that way I know that you watched until the very end of the video. Let's go. Special thanks to Better Safe Radio for sending me this radio. They did send me this radio for free, so I'm going to go through it and look at everything that's in the box. I don't really want to do an unboxing per se. They wrote the manual on this. They've actually had these radios in stock at the time of this recording for a couple weeks, and he was waiting on the manual to be finished, so... They wrote the manual. You don't have to worry about broken English and a, and a Chinese-type manual. Also, this radio comes pre-programmed with 859 channels for ham radio operation, what he calls SHTF preparation. This includes FRS and GMRS channels, includes some marine band stuff, and includes some commercial comms, some stuff outside but uh, adjacent to the amateur radio frequencies. But he pre-programs all of these channels for you. That radio itself will hold 999 memory channels and 859 of those are pre-programmed for you. You guys coming from the GMRS world, you're used to having a radio that you just turn on and go to channel 1 or channel 2 or channel 3. This radio will be a really good first radio for you if you if you just got into ham radio. It'll be a good addition to anything you want to... It's a good starting point. That's what I'm trying to say. It's a good starting point for those of you who may not want to go through the hassle of programming your first radio. You don't know how to set everything up, so it'll be easy to just turn this on and go. He also sent me a couple of accessories for this. This is a leather carrying... Or not a leather, but like a... Um, like a nylon type carrying, I think it's nylon, nylon type carrying case there. And this is the end. He sent me a speaker mic, so we're going to plug that up here in a second. Standard Kenwood K connection on that. And one of the coolest things, now this is really cool. Now this is true for most Oshang radios. This charging base right here with the four prongs on the bat fix most of your Oshang radios with the four prongs on the back of the battery. Okay, this is the charging cable that comes with it. This plugs into the back here, obviously like that, and that plugs into the wall. That's a USA plug. Sold separately are these USB chargers. So you can take any of these charging bases, plug that in there, which plugs plugs in to the back of the base, and plug this into a standard USB-A connection. Now, this is not going to charge as quickly as the standard wall wart connection will, this guy right here. But if you're out and about, if you're out in the field, if you're out in an RV spot, if you're out in a deer stand, who might have a battery pack with you, like a solar-powered battery pack or just an external battery pack you carry with you in your backpack. I've got two or three of those myself. You can plug this directly into that, keep your radio charged, and it will extend the life of the time that you can talk on the radio. So let's take a, a closer look at this radio right now. These, uh, honestly, these are some of these ones by Oshang are some of my favorite Chinese radios. They have a large display. They have a large antenna. They're, you, when you pick them up and feel them, I, I believe this one is IP67 rated, if I'm not mistaken. When you pick them up and hold them, they look really, they feel really stout. They feel like they're not going to break if you accidentally drop them. They feel like they're going to be, you know, pretty the IP55 rating. IP55 rating is what it is. Solid feeling when, when you're carrying them around. So let's take a look over here at the overhead shot. Once again, this is the screen. Comes up. I really like the dark background and the white display. It's 70, 70 centimeter call channel. You can see there's a better safe radio name at the top right here. Better safe radio is across the top of the screen. You can change that 
but I think you can only do it in the software, if I'm not mistaken. So you can, that's just something I noticed when I turned it on. So you can see all these channels are pre-programmed in here. MMS82A, 81A. I don't know what any of these mean. He's got some abbreviation stuff. You can download for free from the bettersaferadio.com website a list of all these channels and see what they, they mean. Okay, US, uh, USCG, US Coast Guard. There you go. Now, you can't key up on that. So it is PRQ over. So you can't you can't key up on that on that channel, but you can monitor it, you can listen to it. And when you go to scan, you can scan through that channel. So this is the menu system here. Hit the menu button here, and we can go to 62 different menu channels. Starts at one and ends at 62. So there's a lot of different options in here you can set for this type of uh, for this specific model of radio. These are, like I said, these are brand new. They just got in stock. According to the website, he's got it, bettersaferadio.com. He says, shipping pre-orders upgrades in a few days. Place your order now to save a spot in line and be patient. The current wait time is about two to three weeks. So we've been waiting on these for a while. I did a, recorded a video about the, the uh, announcement of this radio a while back, and I'm glad to see that they're finally in stock. So this is your band button. The screen turned off on me. It's just it's that's just a power saving feature. So this is your band button that you can switch up and down between the top and the bottom band. This right here, you can turn off the bottom band, or if you switch to the bottom band, you can turn off the top band by the short press. Long pressing this goes to VFO mode. So that's another good thing about Oshang radios. It has like four different placements. So this is VFO mode right here. That's VFO mode right there. And then you long press it in again. It'll sh it'll you can do the channel number if you just for whatever see, reason want to see the channel number. Long press it again. It'll do the channel frequency. Long press it again, and it does the channel name. I usually just leave mine on channel name, and that's good with that. Exit button, keypad, repeater. So this is your connection for the speaker mic. I'll go ahead and plug that in right now. Now, this, this microphone has, it, it is a speaker mic. This is the speaker part, and the microphone's up here at the top right corner. So, let's change it back to, oh, it's got ISS. Look at that. ISS v, v pack ISS repeater. So, it'll let you key up on the ISS repeater frequency because that is a ham radio repeater, so that's kind of cool. So, let's go back over here to the 2-meter call channel, and if I key that up real quick, KC5 HWB testing, one, two, three, four, five. So that keying up from another external radio over here. KC5 HWB testing, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, KC5 HWB testing, that is the speaker mic that's attached to this radio. So I can uh, switch here and I can uh, key up, and that, that one you probably hear in the that one you probably hear in the microphone right now because I'm transmitting right next to the computer. KC5 HWB testing. So it's got a good sound to it, both uh, from the mic and to the mic. So you can wear the speaker mic up here on your collar if you want to. You can, you know, walk around with the radio on your belt and talk into it like that and look like a look like a cop or something if you want to. But the speaker mic is useful in a lot of situations. If you have a speaker mic with a standard K connector, it'll work on this radio. So it's not proprietary. That's good. But I really liked this. Uh, USB charging option, which again, that's not proprietary. It's that's an Ocean Oshang um, cable that they sell for a lot of their base uh, base uh, charging cradles. So it's not just specific to this model, but you can get that at BetterSafeRadio.com. Let's put this thing on the power meter and see what kind of power it's outputting. Okay, once again, we've got the MFJ meter with the what well, the power supply. The Astron 50 amp power supply below it is not used in this case because this uh, radio is battery powered. So we're going to try, we've got high power on the low band here, 2 meter call, which is 146.52. And if I key up KC5 HWB testing, turn down my other radio, ouch, 9.3 watts. Very cool. Very cool, 9.3 watts. And then if I change it to, let's see, change it here to the 70 centimeter call frequency, you can see that's still on high power on the screen there. Also 9.5 watts. Wow. That is great. So it's doing just over 9 watts on high power on both of the bands 
70 centimeter call band and two meter call band. And it's advertised at eight plus watts on high power, five watts on middle power and two watts on low power. So that's a great, that's a great performing radio. Next weekend is field day. So I think I'll take this week, this, uh, this radio to field day, do some testing with it in the field. Just remember bettersaferadio.com. You can save a 7% discount on everything on their website with the coupon code of HR2 all seven. Let me know if you're looking forward to this radio. Let me know if you, let me know if you would consider something like this as your first radio, if you just got your ham radio license and maybe you're coming from the world of CBs, maybe you're coming from the world of uh, GMRS and you just got your ham license, do you think having a pre-programmed radio is good, good option? This is the only one I know that will pre-program the radio for you. 859 channels are pre-programmed into this radio by Better Safe Radio. And I think there's been some other companies in the past that would pre-program stuff for you, but you can buy code plugs for some DMR stuff but this is the only one I know of that's analog that comes this way. They pre-program all of their radios. There's no extra charge for it. It comes that way from bettersaferadio.com. That's your word of the day today is pre-programmed. So put pre-programmed in the comments below. That way I know you watched to the end. 73 guys, and thank you very much. If you liked this video, and if you think I earned your subscription and your mm -hmm. thumbs up, please click the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you think I didn't earn it, then... Don't worry about doing it, but put a comment below and let me know how I could do better next time. Let me know how I could do better for you, what you would like to see on the channel upcoming, and thanks for watching anyway. 73. Ham Radio 2.0 reviews news and how-tos. Uh...